Good evening, Jesus Image Church. Oh, just lift your hands to the Lord. He's here. He's here. You know, the power went out and in the sanctuary, the presence of the Lord just fell. The presence of the Lord just fell, and so he's here. And so if you've come tonight for him, he is here. If you are tired tonight, he will refresh you. If you've come for a miracle tonight, he is here. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And so tonight we draw near to you knowing that you draw near to us. And so, Jesus, we invite you, Holy Spirit, come. Better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. Better is one day in your courts. There is nowhere else we'd rather be than here, Jesus, to look at you, to worship you, to love you. We've come to love you tonight, Jesus. In you is everything, so we have found everything by looking at you tonight, Jesus. Oh, come Holy Spirit, come have your way. Come on, begin to lift your voice and worship him. Begin to lift your voice and offer him praise because he's worthy to be praised. Come Holy Spirit, come Lord Jesus, come have your way. Thank you, Jesus.
and powerful, precious and powerful, precious and powerful, the blood of the Lamb, precious and powerful, oh, the blood of the spotless Lamb, oh, the perfect Lamb of God.
my pastor he made a statement and it is so strong in my heart tonight he says I will remember the one who has remembered me he has put us back together this is the blood of Jesus he has remembered us And I just keep saying, Lord, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. Can you remember? Can you remember how he put your world back together again? Can you remember how he healed you? Can you remember how he redeemed you, how he saved you? Oh, can you remember how he put the broken pieces together? Can you remember how he made all things new? Can we just take a moment and remember? Let's just reflect on the goodness of the Lord. He's so good. <laughs> oh, think about it. Oh, I remember. You raised the broken to life. You raised the broken to life. You raised. You raised beautiful rashes. You raised the broken. All of joy from morning. Army to praise for heavens. <laughs> oh, I wear it proudly. Army to praise for heavens. <laughs> oh, the broken. I can see you now. I can. 
can see the love in your eyes Laying yourself down Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved Grace has found me just as I am, empty handed but alive in your hand. Majesty, Majesty, forever I am changed.
Let's lift our hands and pray in the Spirit. Come on, just sing. Sing in the Holy Spirit. Come on, sing in the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. Be your holy and wonderful name. Keep singing, keep singing. Our hands to the Lord. The words thy hands have made. I see the stars. I hear the holy thunder. Thy power through life. The universe displays. The then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou! How Sing it, you sing it. Then sings my soul, my Savior. 
Again, softly, just very softly. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. When I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds that hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my One more time, O oh Lord my God. O oh Lord my God. I am awesome one. When I in awesome wonder consider Amazing. the world thy hand have made. Oh, just look at him now. I see the stars. Look at Jesus. The You're the rolling thunder. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power. Thy power throughout the universe display. Sing that again. Oh, 
Lord my God. Lift your hands to the Lord and begin to love Him. Come on out loud. Just begin to minister to Him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Holy, holy, holy. Come on, every eye closed. Settle into his presence. your hands to the Lord. Holy and wonderful Jesus, we look to you tonight as the beautiful King, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And we worship you gladly tonight. I said we worship you gladly tonight. And what a privilege it is. You know, I'm reminded of the words of Catherine Kuhlman. Never forget the privilege. I grew up hearing that as a little boy. My father-in-law would say it all the time. Never forget the privilege. And so Lord, especially our team, John, Janae, Aaron, the whole crew, what a privilege we have to be up here. What a privilege we have, Jesus Image staff and team. What a privilege students, what a privilege church. All of us here in the glory of God, week after week after week. Father, we do not take it lightly. This is not normal, this is rare, and we, we, we acknowledge that. Forgive our, forgive the way we are in your presence as though 
we deserve to be in your presence so we don't deserve to be anything but hell bound but for your mercy because of your mercy we are here tonight you shed your blood to bring us in to the presence of the Lord into the very glory of God and so Jesus thank you thank you for your mercy wonderful father you have invited us you have called us to be a kingdom of priests to minister to you so why don't you everyone just thank him for the privilege with your hands uplifted thank you Jesus say that say come on just begin to thank him you could be a million places right now but he called you to be in the room those of you watching online you could be anywhere watching anything but he stopped you tonight and He's inviting you into the same wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you for your holiness, Lord. We tread lightly. Tread lightly tonight. We, we are aware that the great God, the great God of awesome wonder is in the room who formed the stars. breaks the cedars with thunder. Wow. You are our Father and our great King. And so, Lord Jesus, we worship you as the risen Lamb of God. And I pray tonight, Holy Spirit, that there would be a literal divine impartation for everyone who's hungry in the name of Jesus now I have a sense that many of you are going to have the opportunity to be touched by the Holy Spirit in a deep way tonight and I want you to become very aware of the invitation and approach the Lord with hunger our approaching of the Lord oftentimes determines how he touches us and what he says to us something very wonderful going on right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hand on your heart. Say, Jesus, please don't leave me the same. Touch me deeply that I would love you more and be your true bride. In Jesus' name, amen. Now lift a shout. I was looking at my water during that praise eruption and it was bouncing and bubbling up. I can only imagine what's happening to our bloodstream with the volume. Lord, help us. <laughs> um, if you're scheduled to be baptized tonight, please get in line. Let's get them ready. Church, we're going to watch many, many go into the watery grave tonight. Come on, give the Lord praise. Guys, people are about to be baptized. Um, 
before 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 we get started uh hey gina what i heard some was esther around where's esther hey hey esther hi hope can we give esther the mic real quick hope we love you you are wonderful so wonderful Esther, come here. They're weird. <laughs> um, I heard the Lord moved in children's church. People got healed today? Yeah. Uh, hey, wait, real quick. Sorry, sorry. Stay, come close, come close. The, it, the pulpit won't fry you. Um, I taught Sunday school today at, at church this morning. It was so fun. And the kids were so receptive. And it just made me want to hang out with the kids the whole time. So maybe uh, Jess and the guest speakers can take the main service. And I'll be with the little guys. But Esther, you've done an amazing job. Your whole team, they're amazing. And uh, they're cooking it in. And I think that one of the coolest responses was I, I was walking them through uh, reading your Bible, how to read your Bible, prayer, how to pray and how often you should pray, and then going to church, how important it was to be around people that love Jesus. And so I said, I, I, asked, I asked the children, how many of you know how long you should read your Bible for? And one of the little guys goes, or girls goes, until Jesus says stop. And I said, bingo, you got it. And it was the same answer for prayer. How long should you pray? They're like, this is stop. I said, man, the kids get it. They get it so well. But I heard the Lord healed some bodies. Yeah. Tell, tell them what happened. Yeah, so it was amazing. Michael came in and spoke to the kids and just every heart, like he said, they were so fixated, like the presence of the Lord was truly touching each of the kids. And right after Michael left, um, we started praying over the kids and then um, we were moving on and there so was your a team little girl. Just praying for them? Yeah, wow. and there was a little girl in the back and uh, she called me over and I went over there and she said, um, my back was in severe pain and when you guys started praying, uh, the pain left and she wow. was crying. And so I was like, okay, can you come up and share with the group? So she went up there and she just started weeping and she was like, you know, my back was in pain. And then when they prayed, like all the pain left. And so <laughs> it was amazing. So I was like, okay, if anyone like has owies or hurts, I was with kids. So. Owies. <laughs> yeah, that's how I talked to them. I was like, that's what Jose you know, <laughs> calls them. I was like, please stand up. So the kids um, that needed healing stood up. And then instantly, all of a sudden, it was like contagious. Uh, someone stood up. She, her uh, wrist got healed. And so then she started praying Come on, this for is a amazing. Kid. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Wow. And there was a child in his stomach. He had severe pains. Uh, he had a surgery. Um, to drain the acid in his stomach and he was still dealing with severe pains He couldn't sleep at night and he said that he was sitting in his chair and he was dealing with pain Well, the little girl we all stretched our hands and started praying and um, Immediately the pain left Yeah. Wow, <laughs> wow. I think you should all stand and thank the Lord like so beautiful how they just pick it up um, and like they just if you tell them man like God's gonna heal you like they just they are so fiery and ready so it's so wow. beautiful to see that it's already in the hearts of the kids so if you're a parent release them have them pray have them do it because they truly have such a beautiful faith so to true. release it yeah it's so true and um, yeah it's always wise to follow what the children are doing but Jesus said such is the kingdom and uh, we can learn a lot from them. Um, maybe we should talk to the parents, get a hold of the ones who got healed, yeah. and see if they would be okay once we get permission yeah. with the children sharing their testimony. And then we could cut the children loose on the adults to, to, to pray for the sick. Wouldn't that be good? 
just want to say very lovingly that you know when the Holy Spirit comes, you you can actually pick up what's on the hearts of people. Some of you are blown away by what you just heard. Some of you are trying to figure it out. Some of you feel like you're doing the Lord a favor by listening to these testimonies. It shocks me to watch people with their arms crossed sit down when the room full of people jumps up and prays to testify of little children being healed and you look at it like it's just normal. Jesus died so we could have it. So here, and this is a very loving correction, here we give the Lord honor if a blister on a pinky toe gets healed. So if you came, I'm just, I'm just, I feel the anointing and so I'm going with it. If you came with a desire to tell your friends you came to Jesus' image and leave without Jesus tonight, you failed. You walk into an environment like this and leave empty handed and just watch. Now if you don't know Jesus, that's different. You can't see the kingdom, and tonight you'll have the opportunity to give you all to Jesus and step into what is called the kingdom of God. But if you know Jesus and you sit there like this, when you hear testimonies like that, you need the fire of the Holy Ghost. That's what you need. It is real. It is real. Well, there's something about the Lord. You know, this is all very biblical, by the way, in case you're trying to theologically pick my statements apart. Because our meetings weren't always like this. They cost me everything. Everything. And that's why some of you are here, because a lot of the meetings you go to are not like this. So church, this is a church, and my job is to pastor you. And See, this testimony is holy. If children start ministering to the sick and they start getting healed, it'll change the nation. Yeah. Change the nation. So you, um, that's better. But Jesus addressed the lepers who did not thank him, or actually expressed out loud, I should say, only one returned to say thank you. So he, he feels it, and Jesus lives in us, and so we should feel it when, and it wasn't all of you, but some of you just sat there like this. Well, homie, if you got it like that, go do it. But these little kids are just putting you to shame, and you should thank the Lord. The devil has a hard time arguing with childlike faith flowing from children, and this will smash the devil's face in. I want to follow these children who simply put their hand on the sick, and the sick recover. I'm going with them. Some of y'all like this. Yeah. <laughs> you can't debate a child. I've tried, I have three. <laughs> Critics would have a hard time debating a three-year-old, trying to tell them why they didn't really get healed. All they'd say is, my owie is gone. And I don't know who you are or what you believe, but it's gone. So. I love you. I love you. Look, I, I do love you, but I'm your pastor. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm not your entertainer. I'm your pastor, and I'm trying to take us somewhere. It's the only thing I live for. I live for the manifest presence of Jesus. 
and there's a way to go, and there's an attitude that takes you deeper, and there's one that kicks you out, and I'd rather die than get kicked out, and the one that kicks you out is the one that says, I'm not very impressed by the stuff you do, Lord. I've been there, done that. I'm doing you a favor by sitting in this seat. We need the seats. We need the seats. So I want to go deep, and if you want to come with me, you radical people can come with me. But that's where I'm going. I'm not, I'm not doing the other stuff. I'm not doing that thing. I love you. Bring the baptizees out and let's get some work done. Bring them out, line them up. Them out. All right. Hello. <laughs> They're happy and they should be. Guys, just one more time, can we welcome these precious children of the Lord? Hallelujah. All right. All right, you can be seated. Now you get to be a part church of kingdom work. This is the work of the ministry. What a glorious privilege it is. Lift your hands to heaven. Heavenly Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord, as you promised in Genesis chapter 1, that the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Elohim, the third person of... I feel him now already. The Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, as he hovered over the face of the deep, would hover over these baptismal waters and kiss them with His presence and glory. Turn this room into heaven on earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, now, hallelujah. Everyone who's getting baptized, I just want you to hear a few scriptures. Everything is about to change now. This is a wonderful blessing. And there's much that takes place that you need to know about. Matthew 28, verse 16 and 20. This blows me away. The 11 disciples left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. And when they saw him, they worshiped him. Makes sense. But some of them doubted. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. This is the New Living. It's not my favorite on this particular passage, but... It's still very powerful. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Yes, amen. <laughs> Guys, look, look. What's about to happen right now, I want you to think of this, has been taking place since the moment Jesus established baptism in the New Testament. You are literally entering what we call a sacrament of the church, a a holy institution that has been taking place since the days of Jesus, you are a part right now of fulfilling the Great Commission. And Jesus' image, we as a church right now are stepping into the fulfillment of the Great Commission. This is incredible. Now, let me read you another scripture so you can know what's going to happen to you. 1 Peter 3, 21. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a clear conscience toward God. 
It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So the waters do not save. Jesus saves. However, however, listen, baptism cleanses us even to the depths of the conscience. Your conscience is going to change tonight. In the depths of your being. Stain is going to be removed. There is a washing that will take place. Colossians 2.21 Having been buried with Him in baptism. So tonight, you're going to be buried. Buried with the Lord. You are going to identify with His burial because He identified with yours. He took your death so you could have His life. You need to thank Him. Listen, having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through your faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. So, tonight you will go into the waters. You will experience the burial of the Lord Jesus. And by faith in the Lord Jesus, you will also experience being raised with him. It's amazing. Ephesians 4, verse 4 through 6. There is one body... And one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Think, you are entering the one baptism of the church. Something the church has held dear for 2,000 years. One God and Father of all, who is over all, <laughs> and through all, and in all. Mm. Acts 22. Acts 22, verse 16. And now, what are you waiting for? I love that. Get up and be baptized and wash your sins away, calling on his name. Baptism washes away the old life. You say, who am I baptized into? Galatians 3, 26. Listen. And 27, so in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you were baptized into Christ, who were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. Tonight you'll be baptized into Jesus himself and be clothed, listen, 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 clothed in Jesus himself. You are going to take your robes, of worldliness, your robes of stain, they will go into the water, and when you come out, you will get a new wardrobe called robes of righteousness. You will leave, you will leave wearing robes, the robes of Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Now, in every baptism, there are a few principles. Number one, there is a baptizer. With water baptism, the church, we, the leaders, will be baptizing you. Number two, there are baptizees. That's you. Number three, there, are, there is the element of baptism. In this case, the element is water. There's more than one baptism. There's one baptism in water, but there's also the baptism of the Spirit and another one called the baptism of suffering. We'll go into that another time. <laughs> <laughs> remember Jesus said are you willing to be baptized with the baptism that I will be baptized with speaking of the cross what the early church called the baptism of blood the baptism of carrying your cross and walking with Jesus but we start here number one the baptizer is the church the leaders of the church number two the baptizee is you number three the element it's water why water I just mentioned Genesis chapter one water has been blessed since day one Water is blessed all over the world. Why is water a good thing? Because the Holy Spirit hovered over water, and whatever He touches is blessed. Water washes, water nourishes, water hydrates. Without water, you die. All right. Now, the result of baptism, in other words, what is the result of this water baptism? It is this. You're baptized into Jesus, into His body, which is His church. So the, the baptizer is us. The baptizee is you. The element is the water. The result is 
you are baptized into Jesus himself and his amazing family called the Church of God. Isn't this wonderful? Isn't this wonderful? Now, before we go into these waters, I want all of you to count the cost. Every one of you, count the cost. This is important. It's better you go sit down right now than to not authentically count the cost or to go in half-hearted. The waters of baptism are not for the half-hearted. Jesus said that a wise person counts the cost. Who building a tower, he said, builds before he counts the cost and having begun the building runs out of funds and the tower is not complete and it brings shame. So going through these precious, precious practices of the church without counting the cost, don't do it. What is the cost? Are you ready? I have to be faithful to the Lord and one day stand before Him. So I have to be faithful to what the Scripture says. The cost is everything. Everything. Your whole life, your breath, if need be, your blood, whatever, whatever comes our way, we stay with Jesus. That's the cost. He wants my dreams. He wants our will. He wants our future. He wants our past. You've, you've given him your past, hopefully. He took it and nailed it to the tree when you came to him by faith. He wants your future too. He wants to be Lord. Yes, Savior. Also Lord. He wants you to give him the liberty to tell you what to do. To follow him. Now Jesus said, if any man wants to be my disciple, he must first deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. There is no way to follow Jesus without denying self. There is no way to follow the Lord without carrying the cross he hands you. So you need to know this before you go into the waters. Perhaps you're asking in your heart, what does he want from me? He wants you. All you are, 100%. So you need to answer that question right now in your hearts. Whether you're really ready to give him your life or not. Your entire life. Now your loving Lord was baptized in water. Which is amazing. John 1 29. Listen. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He approached the waters of baptism and God himself found it necessary to be baptized by his own creation. And Jesus set the standard that day and became our pattern in the waters of baptism. Are all of you willing to give Jesus all tonight to follow him no matter what? I just need a yes from you. Yes, yes, okay. I would like us all to stand. And we are going to confess one of the creeds of the church. This, in this case, is the Nicene Creed. It has been in existence for 1,800 years and has been a confession of faith to the church and through the church for that long. Tonight we're going to declare in whom we believe. We're going to declare the one that we adore and follow. And I want us all to do this. There are a few words in there that may confuse you. Like we believe in one holy Catholic church. It's not saying the Catholic church as you know it today. It's speaking of the universal church. That's what the world mean, that word means, the church worldwide. Let's confess this with, with fire in our bones. And let's declare it so that the, the, the heavens hear our declaration and so hell trembles beneath our feet. Are you ready? Are you all ready? We're going to confess it with you. 
Say this after me loud and boldly. We believe in one God. We believe in one God. The Father, the Almighty. The Father, the Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth. Maker of heaven and earth. Of all that is seen and unseen. Of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord. We believe in one Lord. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The only Son of God. Eternally begotten, of the Father. Eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, God, from God. Light, from light. light from light, true God from true God, true God, from true God. Begotten, not begotten not made, of one being with the Father, being with the Father. Through, him all made. through Him all things were made. For us and our salvation He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. He, was he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. And became man. For, our For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He and was buried. Oh, I love this. On the third day, He rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. Say that one again. Hold on. on the, hold on. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his, and his kingdom will have no end. And, will have no end. and we, believe we believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the, Lord, the, giver, of life, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy church. We, in one holy church. We, acknowledge one we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 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 That is your confession. That is your confession. That is your confession. And the Bible says we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth, and you just confess with your mouth. Don't you love our faith? There is no one like Jesus. You can be seated. Baptizees, let's go. Line up there. Hope, are you ready? Am I oh, we got Ryan in there tonight. And John. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. They are the altar boys. What a good night to wear this shirt. He is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Come on. Christ is risen. Amen. What's your name? Where are you from? And why are you being baptized? I'm Jaden. I'm from St. Louis. And... Why are you being baptized? I'm just ready to give him everything to just renounce the, my old life. All right, come on in. Come on. Come on, let's welcome him. All right, now listen up, listen up. Um, while they're being baptized, I want all of you to pray. I want all of you to pray. And, and, and you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be verbal, but I do want you to be praying for their life in Jesus, for their, their eternity, for a faithful Christian life, that they would literally walk in victory and as true disciples, 
I want you to pray things like this. I pray this over my children. Let them never know a single day away from you. Okay? That kind of stuff. You're praying that they'll be faithful until the end. And I'm just telling you, it's about to get really powerful in here. And when I start praying for some of you, if some of you need to go, it's best to go now. Because if you leave during that moment, it's going to be really frustrating to me. So I'm just saying, I love you, but when people start being touched by the Holy Spirit, it's very hard to digest that. So if you need to go, I completely understand. I love you. This would probably be the moment to go. And you just need to know, when you come to a Sunday night, we're going to be here like till 9. It's who we are. It's what we do. So just come in knowing that. Come in knowing that, okay? Because it's about to get very powerful in here. And I, I felt today as I was preparing that, that many people would be touched by the Holy Spirit tonight. And, and, and the Lord will begin revealing who those people are. And it's just not right to walk out of the house of God in moments like that. It's just not. It's not. So if you've got a role, I love you. Now's the time. Okay? God bless you. Jesus loves you too. Even more than I do. All right. Sorry, he's been in the water the whole time. And it's freezing. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. But this is going to be a long baptism. It's going to work beautifully. It's going to work beautifully. All right. Jaden, are you going to give Jesus your entire life? Do you renounce the devil? Do you renounce the world? You fully turn to the Lord now. Jaden, tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Hold them up. All right. Now I'm going to, I'm going to anoint each of them with oil. That has been going on since the inception of the church. It is not a formality. I believe that when the oil touches them they will be touched by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the wonderful seal and blessing of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, you, you can jump up and stand, but you're going to be doing it 30 times if you do the math because there's 15 of them. So if you want to, that's fine. I'm just telling you, you don't have to stand the whole time. If you get excited, just do what you need to do. It's fine. It's totally fine. But you get a, you're going to end up doing squats, 30 reps, up and down, up and down. Uh, amen. That's a good thing, huh? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Pauline. And where are you from? I'm from New York City. New York City. <laughs> do you live here now? No, I flew down here last night to come here. You to flew get in to be baptized. And why are you being baptized? Because I'm ready to give my life to God. Yeah. Have you, have you fully yielded your life to the Lord Jesus? Yes. Wow. Come on in. Come on. She flew all the way down from New York. God bless you. You came all the way down from New York to be baptized. It's a precious price you paid, and the Lord's going to give you much more than you, than you paid. Pauline, right? Pauline, do you renounce the world? Do you renounce Satan himself? Yes. And do you fully yield your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes. Tonight, Pauline, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come upon our precious Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive, receive the wonderful, wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit. Would you guys stretch your hands and just pray for her? Receive the wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit, Pauline. You'll never be the same. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Oh, I love this. This, this, 
This is a declaration of such victory and it obliterates the powers of hell. It obliterates the powers of hell. Oh, hallelujah. What's your name? Lizzie. Lizzie. Yes. And why are you being baptized? Um, I'm ready to give everything to Jesus. Wow. And where are you from? Orlando. Orlando. You ready to give all? Yes. Come on. Come on in. Get down there, Lizzie. I feel from the Holy Spirit to tell you that all of the pain and darkness of your past is gone. Listen, and, and every lie, every lie you believed, everything spoken to you and over you that came from hell itself, even lies you've believed about yourself, are dying tonight in the waters. And even any fear or anxiety that you've walked through, even uh, certain nights, the difficulty, the racing of the mind, and just all of the what seemed like darkness, these dark seasons that you walked through, uh, that stole your rest, stole your thoughts, and even your, your emotions, even the health of your... We've never met before, right? Yeah. I know we haven't, but I want them to know we have. Tonight, listen, the mighty victor who is clothed in light is coming to destroy all the darkness. All of it. It's all gone. You're about to come out of the water shining like your bridegroom. Are you ready? Do you renounce the devil himself? Do you renounce the world? You're fully yielding to Jesus now. Lizzie, tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father. I feel the anointing so strong. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Say amen. Receive, receive the precious seal, the gift of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, come on. Come on. You know, I'm not sure we realize the power in the amen of the church. When you say amen, you're coming into agreement. I'm telling you, there's so much going on right now that we don't even see or understand. Hell hates the waters of baptism. It hates this. It hates this. This is the true work of the ministry. This is, this is a glorious privilege. The enemies of God are being defeated tonight in the waters of baptism. So when you say amen, what I'm praying over them, it's enforced. You're getting in on their destiny. You're literally praying and fighting for a soul. Do you understand? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Hi, what's your name? Zach. Zach, where are you from? Orlando. Orlando. And why are you being baptized? Uh, for a six-year period, I kind of turned away from... Uh, God completely, mm -hmm. and it took a miracle to rip me out of New Age beliefs and run to Jesus, and I've like never been more in love with Jesus than I am right now. Wow. Wow. He delivered you from New Age. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is true power. True power. Jesus is king. And he's risen from the dead. Amen. Zach, huh? Zach, do you renounce the world? Do you renounce Satan himself? Do you renounce these dark powers? Do you fully yield to Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life? Therefore, we baptize you in the name. Hey, John, come down here, John Wiles. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I, 
Come, just stand next to me. I, I, in the authority of Jesus Christ, just everyone out there praying in the Spirit, in the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cancel every assignment over your life. I rebuke every demonic lie and every demon that came to steal your destiny. And by faith in the Lord Jesus and according to His Word, before I formed you, the Scripture says, I knew you. And I declare that God has good plans for you and that as for you and your house, you will serve the Lord. And the generations after you, your children and their children and their children will be followers of Jesus. And I plead the blood over you. Receive the wonderful gift of the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen, Zach. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. What's your name? Uh, Kevin. Kevin. Where are you from? I'm from Orlando. A lot of Orlando people getting baptized tonight. I love this. And why are you being baptized? Um, so I was actually talking to Zach maybe two weeks ago, and I was saying, hey, you know, I was kind of like encouraging him to get baptized, and the Holy Spirit kind of convicted me and said, you need to get baptized. So tonight, <laughs> I'm getting baptized, and I'm forgetting the past, past hurts, thoughts, confusion, and I'm leaving it all to walk in true freedom. With Jesus. With Jesus. And you fully yield your life tonight? I'm sorry? You're fully giving your life to Jesus? Completely surrender. Come on in. Come on in. Kevin, do you renounce the world? Yes. Do you renounce Satan himself? Yes. And do you fully yield to Jesus Christ? Yes. We baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, guys, pray for him. Pray for him. Come upon him in power. Keep praying. You guys pray. Pray that when they go into the waters, the power of the Holy Ghost will fall upon them. Receive the precious, precious gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Help him out. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, this is wonderful. What's your name? Micah. Micah. Where are you from? Texas originally. I live here now. You live here. And you live why are you being baptized? Given, given him my full yes, um, surrendering, um, and I wanted to, to do this myself. I've done it before. Hey, Michelle, wanted... guys, he may, Carla, he may need a little help in a good way. It's beautiful. So just take good care of him. Maybe sit him down in a chair right there so he doesn't slip or anything, guys. Sorry. You're fine. Um, <laughs> good problems. Yeah. What, why are you so, being baptized? Just giving Jesus my full yes. Um, Total surrender. You ready to die tonight yes. and come, come to life none in Jesus? Me, none of me, all of him. Come on, come on. Come to you. Micah, you renounce the world. Do you renounce Satan? Do you give your full life, your full yes to Jesus Christ? We baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Receive the wonderful gift of the Spirit, the presence of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give the Lord praise. What's your name? Matt. And why are you being baptized? Because when I got baptized, when I got saved, I only did it because cool kids were doing that because I wanted to. Okay. And so why are you doing it tonight? Because I gave my all to Jesus. It's wonderful. Everything? 
everything. Come on in. Come on in. What's your name again? Matt. Matt, do you renounce the world? Do you renounce the devil? Do you fully yield to Jesus Christ? Confess him as Lord tonight. And you'll follow him for the rest of your life. Therefore, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be blessed with the wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. There's a lot of work getting done in these waters. A lot of work getting done. You're my hiding place, my safe refuge, my treasure. Everyone just sit, 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 and just worship. Sing that again, John. We have to follow the Holy Spirit. Yes, sing it softly. My safe refuge, my treasure, Lord, you are my friend. Most holy, my hiding place, my safe refuge. Thank you, guys, my treasure. My treasure, Lord, you are my friend. every voice. Your name Joseph why are you being baptized because <laughs> I want to go home <laughs> want to go home to who to Jesus and wh where are you from Florida you West Palm Beach you ready to give him everything everything come on in, come on in. <laughs> I will
Joseph to even announce the world? Satan himself? Say it. Say, I give my life fully to you, Lord Jesus. We baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. I told you it would get good. I will exalt you. I, I will exalt you. Don't you love him, Hope? You are my God. Again. Mm, I, I will exalt you. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. You are my God. What's your name? My name's Taven. What is it? Taven. Tavian. Where Ta are you? Taven. Taven. Yeah, you got it. Where are you from? Michigan. Do you live here now? Yeah, I live here now. And why are you being baptized? Because uh, Jesus is everything and I tired of getting in the way. You're tired of this world? Yeah, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus said, come unto me if you're weary and heavy laden and I'll give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He said, I'll give rest for your soul. Come, come on, come on. Save them. Oh, I will exalt you. I will exalt you. Do you renounce the devil? Sing softly. Everyone sing softly. Keep singing, John. Do you renounce the devil? Do you renounce... What's that on your arm? Well, Jesus is life. Christ is the center. Well, I'd rather see a cross. Okay? Renounce all that stuff, but Christ in him crucified. Let him determine who he is to you, okay? You renounce everything you've known, everything in your past, you renounce it all. The devil himself, false beliefs, all of it, and give all to Jesus. Yes? Say, I renounce the devil himself and his lies and I give all of my trust to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hold on, don't baptize him yet. I rebuke every lie. I rebuke it all. Every voice in the dark, I rebuke it. Every counterfeit, I rebuke it. I rebuke it all. Now, Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Show yourself strong in him. Tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit into the true faith, the faith of Jesus Christ. Go. See the wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I will Are you all okay up there? You're okay? Good. I love you. You are my God. You get so nice in his presence, don't you? You just get so loving. You want people to be comfortable. He's wonderful. I will exalt you. What's your name? Alicia. Alicia? And why are you being baptized? To give Jesus everything. Where are you from? Ohio. Ohio. I love Ohio. They're like the salt of the earth up there. 
good people. You ready to give Jesus everything? Come on, come into the waters. Alicia, do you renounce the world? Do you renounce the devil? And put your full trust in Jesus. We baptize you tonight, Alicia, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord praise. Let's sing that verse again. You're my hiding. Sing it, church. Close your eyes. My safe refuge, my treasure, Lord, you are my friend and king, anointed one, most holy. You're my hiding place, my safe refuge, my treasure, Lord, you are my friend and king, anointed one, most holy, most holy. What's your name? Hi, I'm Morgan. Morgan. Yes. Where are you from? Orlando. Why are you being baptized? <laughs> because I asked God for help and he answered. He what? And I asked God for help and he answered and this is what I need to do. And you're going to give your whole life to Jesus tonight? Everything. Come on. Morgan, do you renounce the world? Yes. Do you renounce the devil? Yes. Renounce the powers of darkness and fully give your life tonight and confess Jesus Christ. You walk with him all your days. We baptize you tonight in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit and follow him all your days in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. She's happy. She's happy. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. What's your name? I'm Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. Why are you being baptized? The beginning of my you know, Jesus school, he told me he wanted to marry me. And um, I don't know a better way to say I do than to, to be baptized. That's actually what's happening. Yeah. You're gonna give him everything? Yeah. Because that's marriage, right? You lose your name in his name. Yeah. Come on, come on in. Do you remember when, you can be seated for a moment, do you remember when the Bible says the disciples of John came to Jesus or to John and said, the one who you baptized, he's, they're baptizing over there and there are so many people coming. Do you remember that? And John makes a statement and the context is water baptism. And he says, he who has the bride is the bridegroom. In other words, what's going on there is the washing, the preparation for marriage. 
And that's why Esther bathed for months before she could approach the king. So he's very right in saying, I want to give my heart to my bridegroom in marriage. This is what's going on. This is the heavenly washing of the bride to one day actually marry the bridegroom at his return. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, hallelujah. Alex, right? Do you renounce the world? Do you renounce the devil? And fully yield your life to Jesus. We baptize you tonight in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A Father, come upon him. Receive the wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Fill him. Use his life for your glory. In the name of Jesus, use his life for your glory. All for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. What's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah. How old are you? 13. 13. We need you, buddy. We, the world needs you. We need God to use you. And he will. Why are you being baptized? Um, because I first got baptized um, probably like two years ago, but it wasn't out of my own will. And so I kind of felt forced to do it. But um, actually, it was at one of your morning services. Um, I felt the Holy Spirit um, forcing me to um, get baptized and deliver my life to Jesus. And so on my own will, I went up there and um, gave my life to Jesus. Wow. Come on. Come on. Man. Our team, our team's crying. They're crying, bringing these precious souls into the water. Isaiah, it's a good name. Do you turn away from the world? You turn away from the devil, your own will, and fully commit your life. You give your life over to Jesus and Jesus alone tonight. We baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the wonderful presence, the holy presence of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Fill him with your glory and use his life. 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 Come on, pray. Use his life in the nations of the world to be a bold mouthpiece of the gospel. Let him be a light. Let him be a light in a dark world. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Is that everyone? I will exalt you. Come on. Come on, let's sing that. I will exalt you. You are my God. You are my God. Oh, I will exalt you. I will
just witness the power of the gospel everyone here you witness the freedom the joy of the Holy Spirit that came upon those who were baptized you these are testimonies of the power of Jesus that he changes lives that he sets people free from the devil from sin from habits from supposed unbeatable unstoppable cycles and these people came forth from the water in newness of life. It wasn't the waters that saved them. It was Jesus. And there are many of you here in this room that you need to repent and you know it. And this invitation isn't flowing because God's mad. This invitation is coming your way because He loves you. So the Bible says that the Son of Man wasn't sent to the world to condemn it, but to save it. Jesus will save you tonight. He'll save you from generational bondage. From stuff you thought just belonged to you. If you want a changed life in Jesus Christ, to repent from it all, repent from your sin and turn to Him and Him alone, I want you to lift your hand all over the room. All over the room. All over the room. This is wonderful. If you raise, listen, listen carefully. Children, if you're in the room, you can hear my voice. Look at your mom and dad right now and say, if you feel like you need to get down here, I want you to say, Mom, I want to give my life to Jesus tonight. If you brought a friend, if you brought a guest tonight, I want you, this is for everyone, if you brought someone tonight, I want you to look into their eyes and say, do you need to get down there and give your life to Jesus? You know them. You know whether or not they're a child of God. Look them in the eye and say, I'll take you down there. If you raise your hand or you wish you did, if you're anyone I just addressed and you feel the pull of the Holy Spirit, I want you to get down here right now. Get down here. Give your life to Jesus. But they're already coming. They're already coming. Come give your life to Jesus. church give the Lord praise I will exalt you I'm telling you there's mercy flowing there's freedom flowing tonight if you need to get down here come come there's a merciful merciful King a merciful Savior waiting on you. Come, come give your life to Jesus. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this. People getting free. Come, come, come give your life to Jesus. John, go stand with her. Now, everyone who came forward, look at me, please. Look at me. Jesus loves you. 
Jesus loves you. Sir, Jesus loves you. He's going to change everything tonight. Everything. I don't care what you grew up around. He's going to change it all. He's going to leave brand new. You ready for that? Yeah? You ready? They're weeping. They want the Lord. Jesus is phenomenal. He's phenomenal and he knows us. Tonight, the Lord is not calling perfect people. If you who've come forward, you've tasted the emptiness of the world, the darkness of it. And what's happening in this room is the presence of the Holy Spirit. How old are you? 28, the presence of the Holy Spirit Tonight, if you repent, we'll come and live inside of you, and this power and presence will be your inheritance forever. And the search is over. What's your name? Angel, the search is over tonight. There's no one like Jesus. No one. And He loves you. And He bled for you. And He saw you when He bled for you. That's what the Bible says, that He saw you afar off when he hung on the cross and he bled and died for you. No one else has done that. Are you all ready? All of you have come forward to give him your life in your brokenness, in your filth and in your stain. Are you all ready? You have come forward. I'm going to begin praying with you and anybody who feels while I'm praying that you need, like you need to get down here, you do it. You do it. Stretch your hands, church. I want everyone who came forward to lift their hands. Lift their hands. You're lifting them because you're actually yielding your life. You're offering your life. I want us all to pray this out loud. Out loud. Are you ready? You ready, family? You ready to welcome home into the eternal kingdom of Jesus Christ, these precious souls? Are you ready? Let's pray out loud. Everyone who came forward, everything changes now. Heavenly Father, I have sinned against you. I have broken your heart. Forgive me for looking elsewhere. Father, forgive my sin. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Cleanse my soul from every stain and every trespass. I am sorry for my sin. I repent of my sin. I turn from the world. I turn from the devil and every evil spirit. And I turn to Jesus alone, to Christ crucified. And I place all my faith in Jesus and Jesus alone. Oh, I feel this. Jesus, I believe. You are the Son of God, that you died on the cross, shed your blood for me, that you were buried and raised from the dead. Oh, hallelujah. Three days later, Jesus, I believe that you have ascended, as the Bible says, to the right hand of the Father and that you are coming back again to rule and reign in your eternal kingdom. Receive my life tonight. Lord Jesus, here's my life. Receive me as I receive you. I am yours. You're mine forever and ever. In Jesus' name. I am a follower of Jesus Christ. I am born again. I am a child of God. Amen. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I'd like everyone to stand. I'd like everyone to stand. 
For all of you who came forward, listen carefully. You need to read your Bible every day. Look at me. Look me in the eyes. Every day. Read your Bible. If you need a Bible, we'll help you get one. This is true food, living bread. Number two, pray every day. Prayer is intimacy with God. God feeds you with himself. It's time with Jesus. You're betrothed to the Lord now. You're engaged to him. If a marriage is going to work, you have to spend time together. You need to spend time with the Lord. You'll learn how to talk to him. and You'll learn how to hear his voice. And his voice is spirit and life. You're filled with life when you hear his voice. You look amazing already, Angel. You look better. Happy and joyful. Happy and joyful. I sense you tasted the world for a little while. And it slapped you around a little bit. Now you come to the loving arms of Jesus. No one like him. No one like him. Isn't he wonderful? All right. Number one, pray. Or read your Bible. Number two, pray. Number three, I want you to get baptized in water. Not tonight. Next month we'll baptize again. It's important you be baptized in water. It cuts you off from the world. Your old life stays in the water. Come forth beaming in newness of life. Just amazing, amazing. Number four, you need to join. You need to be part of a church. We would love for you to be part of this church. It would be an honor to walk with you. An honor to pastor you. We meet on Sunday mornings and Sunday nights. It would be our joy and privilege to walk with Jesus alongside of you. But if God is not calling you here, I just ask that you find a church that loves the presence of the Lord and loves the Word of God, the whole thing, the whole thing. Lastly, Jesus promised to give you power. It's the only reason you got saved tonight. I'm nothing special. John and our team, we're not special in and of ourselves. It's, what, what drew you? The power of the Holy Spirit. We received this wonderful baptism of the Holy Spirit. Me, when I was a little kid. It changed everything. It turned a kid whose greatest fear was public speaking into a preacher. <laughs> so that he can get all the glory. It's the power of the Holy Spirit that will draw your family to Jesus. Not our arguing. Not our arguing. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. And he promised you that wonderful touch of the Spirit. So I want to pray for you now. Tonight when you go home, I want you to make a date with God in your room. Shut the door and say, Lord, Michael said, <laughs> and you said that I would receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon me. Acts 1, chapter 8. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And the Lord will fulfill his promise because the Holy Spirit is the promise of the Father. And he will not lie. In Jesus' name. Amen. John Reed, would you come? Please, where are you, champion? Come on. Come on up here. This is John. For all of you who came forward, this is John. Doesn't he look nice and friendly? All right. John will meet you. Listen very carefully. All of you who came forward. John will meet you right outside that exit door at the new believer's table. The reason you need to meet him there is so we make sure that you're on the right path. And so that we can walk with you in a victorious Christian life. And that is, your, that is the promise of God. No more sin and falling into sin nonstop and not being able to control your body and all that. That's gone now. You are born again. You are a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. John wants to help you with that and we do too. Okay? Can you do that? Can you meet him afterwards? He'll be right out there. Look how nice he is. Nothing to be afraid of. I promise you. Church, can we give the Lord praise for what he's done? You can go back to your seats. Come on, give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. You can all go back to your seats. Keep playing there, Joel. Thanks for working so hard. The Lord is about to move in some of your lives. I want all of you to pray in the Spirit. For the next 30 seconds, for the next 30 seconds, out loud, pray in the Spirit. Yeah, let's help them quickly find a seat. Nobody moving around, please. Pray in the Spirit loud. You got to do it out loud. So when you pray in the Spirit, listen carefully, you're praying things. You're praying mysteries, the Scripture says. And 
the inner man is built up and the Lord begins to move. The young man uh, who came forward, I prayed for you once before. Come up here. Man, the Lord must love you. The Lord must love you. Pray in the Spirit out loud. I got to hear you. I got to hear you. I got to hear you. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy. Hey, Ryan, I'll need you. Dion. Holy, 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 holy. Everyone pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Just hit those drums for a second. You know, God chooses, He chooses us before we're ever born. Pray, 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 pray. Come on, come on, come on. Not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Keep praying, keep praying, come praying, keep praying. When you pray, the power of the Holy Ghost is released. What's your name? Kyle, Kyle. keep praying, church, keep praying. Pray, 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 pray. Hit those drums again, Jose. Kyle, I pray the mercy of God wounds your heart. That the mercy, the love of God, the forgiveness of God would strike your heart. And that you'd finally follow Him with everything in you. Receive the power and presence of the Holy Spirit, the anointing of God, to carry out your destiny. Fill Him with the power of the Holy Ghost. Fill Him. Fill him. Fill him. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy. Keep praying. 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 Hallelujah. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. I'm telling you. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. I want Jessie to go with her. She's right there. Carla, you stand with her. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Father, in Jesus' name, touch Michelle again as she's been praying for a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. Touch her in Jesus' name. Touch her. Touch her in Jesus' name. Keep praying. Pray, 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 pray. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy. Give me Michael Jones. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Ask the Lord to touch you. Ask the Lord to baptize you in the fire. Uh, pray, pray. Father, fill, fill, fill him in the depths of his soul. Come upon him in fire and in glory. Fill this man the power of your Holy Spirit. Keep praying, church. Fill him with the power of the Holy Spirit. The wonderful power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The wonderful power of the Holy Spirit. The wonderful Holy Spirit. Keep praying, guys. Keep praying. I'm telling you. It's been a while since we had a good old-fashioned Holy Spirit meeting. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Give me Amy. Baby, I want you to stand next to her. Bring her to me. Mm, 
bring her to me, bring her to me. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Fill her. Fill her with fresh fire. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Whoa. Fill her. Fill her. Fill her. Sound of heaven touching earth. 
break our walls down. Spirit, break out. Heaven, come down. Heaven, come down. Spirit, break out. Break our walls down. Break our walls down. Tonight, the Lord rewards your hunger, your tenacity, and your pursuit. Fill her tonight with the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. Fill. Fill. King Jesus. King Jesus. You're the name. You're the name we're lifting up. Your glory. Shaking up. hope the Pope Power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, Sing it, guys. Power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power. Precious blood of the land. Fire of your spirit. Use our life. There is power. Keep singing. Power. Wonder working power. In the blood. Fill her up. Fill her up. Of the land. Wonderful Jesus. There is power. Power. Wonder working power. In the precious blood of the Lamb. Give her her heart's desire again. There is power. Give her heart's desire. Power. Wonder working power. In the blood. You're supposed to be here a while. Of huh? the Lamb. Supposed to be here a while. There is power. Power. Wonder working power. In the precious blood. What can wash away? What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me and whole? What can make me Bring whole? Bring Gina. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. You're glad you stayed. You're glad you stayed tonight. Oh, precious. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as no singing.
singing oh depths of his soul is Nico that makes me wide as no 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 the found time no nothing but the Singing, oh, precious is that makes me white as no, no, all the fount I know. The young man with the beard. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Come. Keep singing, church. Right there. That makes me sit, sit him down. No Father, fill him with the Spirit of the Lord, the fire of God. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Fill him with the Spirit of God. If you close your eyes right now, you become so aware of His presence. So aware of His presence. It's been a while, huh, church? It's time. It's time. Mackenzie right there. Put her right there. Come here, Mackenzie. Just get on your knees right there in the presence of God. Lord, touch her. Mark her tonight. Telling you, there's a strong anointing here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Jose, get back. Get over here. I don't know, Gabby. The Lord has something for you tonight. Come over here next to Jess. your hand on her bed. Father, fill her up from head to toe. From head to toe. John, you help me with this one. Come here, Jose, Brian, Dion. Sing in church, nothing but the blood. You come. Put your hands on her. Keep him Raise him up in your power and glory. Give yourself away tonight, Jose. Fully give yourself away. Fill. Found I know nothing but the blood of can't lay hands on everyone, but the Lord can. So right where you are, just, just lift your hands. He's right here. You're in, the, you're in the right room. 
Ask him to touch you and fill you. I want everyone who's come from out of town, lift your hands to the Lord. Just lift your hands to the Lord. You came for a touch from the Holy Spirit. Look at all the people. Look at all these young people here. They came from out of town. Where are you guys from? Colorado. You came from Colorado to be here? Come here. Come here. Come on. You too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Come. Get on your knees right here. What do you want from the Lord? You're from California. You need it even more. Get on your knees before the Lord. Uh, Raul, Kathleen, Nathan, team, come on, get around them. Get around them. Carla, come on, get around them. Why are you guys here tonight? What do you want from the Lord? Filled with the Lord. Wonderful Jesus. You see their hunger, and you are just and right. You said, Lord, that you would never turn us away if we came to you. I will by no means. He will by no means cast us away. Fill them with the Spirit of the Lord tonight. Deeply. 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 Baby, would you come home? Deeply. Team, release it. Release it. Declare it. Declare the fire of the Holy Spirit over them. John, go over there too. Go over there too. Floyd Bath, go over there. Fill them. Fill them. Amy, come here. Come here. Nothing but the blood. Sing it again. John, you come stand next to me. preacher in you. <laughs> There's a preacher in you. I'm telling you. There's a teacher in you. Little prophetess, dangerous little sharp, sharp, double-edged sword in your hand. Fill her up. Give her a voice. Come here, Natasha. I see the ministry of intercession all over you. Come here. That's what you're doing up here anyways. It, just people don't see it. Maybe you don't. A holy ministry of intercession. Sing it again. Lift it just a bit. a new anointing comes to step into that ministry of intercession. Fill her tonight to overflowing. Give her the burden of the Lord. The burden of the Lord. Oh, Just let him fill you. Again. Elizabeth, Carol, Jazz, receive, receive. Just lift your hands to the Lord. The fresh outpouring. Carol, I'm so proud of you who you are in the Lord. 
I'm proud of you. So is the Lord. Be filled, be filled, be filled with the love of Jesus. Elizabeth, be filled with the love of Jesus. Filled with this wonderful love. Jazz, be filled, be filled with the love of Jesus. Yield your life, Jazz. God's about to start using you more. In Jesus' name. Jimmy, be filled in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Olga, be filled. I don't know who else is back there. I can't see them. Be filled, be filled, be filled, be filled. I love the blood of Jesus that reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest of valleys rescues people who are in the pit it reaches it reaches to the highest mountain <laughs> and it flows to the lowest valley That gives me strength from day to day. It will never pray for Carla. It's power. Floyd Beth, lay your hands on Carla. Oh, and it reaches. Oh, and it reaches to the high. Fill her up. She works so hard. Fill her up. And it flows. And it flows to the lowest valley. <laughs> the blood that gives me strength from day to day. I'd get lost right now if to I were the you. Mountain. Oh, and it flows. And it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day. Today, it, it will never, never, never lose. lose its power. Be blessed, be blessed. Come on, church, oh, it reaches. It reaches <laughs> to the highest mountain. <laughs> oh, and it flows. Gives me strength from day to day, from day to day. It'll never lose. It will never lose its power. Oh, it reaches to the high. Day to day, from day to day, it will never lose its power. 
again. One more time. One more time. It reaches. Thank God it reaches to the highest mountain. Babe, pray for Raul. Pray for Raul. Oh, and it flows to the Lord, the lowest valley. Oh, it's the blood. That gives me strength from day to day. Yes. It will never yes. lose Bless. its power. Last one, last one, last one. It reaches. Oh, it reaches to the high, the highest mountain. me strength from day to day it will never lose its power oh, it reaches to the high the highest mountain Those of you in your seats, I'm going to ask you to do something by faith. Turn around, stretch your hands towards the camera as we pray for those people watching around the world. Father, come on, all of you agree, you know what to do. Father, fill our brothers and sisters around the world with the presence and power of the Spirit of the Lord. Fill their homes, fill their children, fill their churches, fill their businesses, fill their marriages, fill the generations. Touch the church again in America and the nations of the world. and Stir your people to fall in love with Jesus. Stir them to know Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed. Everyone listening and watching, be blessed with the presence of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We should give the Lord a mighty shout of praise. What a night. I said, what a night. Thank you, Lord. Now listen, 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 before you go, before you go. You don't have to stop this fellowship carry the presence of the Lord back to your house and your car. I mean, just, just keep your heart fixed on Jesus. Uh, by the way, <laughs> what? It's fun to watch. She thinks I'm a little under the influence of new wine and I make no apologies for it. How badly we need it. How badly I need it. By the way, Jesus 21. Jesus 21. December 17th and 18th. Can we throw that up? We have added an extra day and we are taking the larger field, even bigger than last year. And the, the theme that the Lord gave me is come Lord Jesus. So we'll be gathering. You, can they register already? Oh wow. A, is there a special rate or something? An early re registration. And how long does that last? till May 5th, so do it now. If you're watching from around the world, come again, descend on this city. It is Florida's Jerusalem. It is the 
Revival Land. Come, come on down here. If you're watching from around America, hopefully the borders are open by then. That would be beautiful. Let's pray that, that, that they are. And you come. You come to Jesus 21. You'll never, ever be the same. I'm believing for a greater measure of God's presence than ever before. Father, bless. Receive this now. Receive it. Bless your people. Let them carry the nature and the presence of Jesus everywhere they go. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, did I not receive an offering? Oh, sit down. Oh, we can't come into the presence of God and not give. I'm serious. None of us are ducking and running. Come on, come on. I'm bringing an offering. I want all of us to bring an offering into the presence of the Lord. If you're watching from around the world, we have a great need. I think we still need about 60,000 or 65,000 to cover the audio need for the Sunday mornings. And, but by the way, the Sunday mornings have been incredible. Do not check out on me. Let's all be faithful givers to the Lord. And let's honor the Lord's presence with our offerings. So you can just text morning. Uh, you know what? Just text give. And if you feel led to give a little extra, go ahead. We're just going to receive our tithe and offering right now. Sorry, Ryan. You were supposed to receive that. And the Lord took over. <laughs> he's, he's fine with it. <laughs> let's be faithful tonight. Come on. Let's be faithful tonight. We, I can just tell you this. This building costs a lot of money. As grateful as we are for it, we really are. But none of this is for free. And this, this Sunday night is blessing the world. Everywhere I go, people are stopping me. I was just in Sacramento, and a mom said, my son was away from God, and he said, I want the real Jesus. And he turned on the Sunday night on YouTube, and he's now in worship. He's in a worship team. He's following the Lord because he sensed the presence of the real Jesus here. Let's continue to give so that the nations are changed. If you'd like to give the old-fashioned way with an envelope, if you need one, would you please raise your hand? Okay, we've got one up there. We're all going to have to work. We've got two way up there. Your little Stairmaster. Get up there. And uh, for those of you who like to give by text to give, that information is on your screen. You would text give to that number. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your people and thank you for the privilege Thank you for your goodness, our homes, uh, the clothing on our back, the food you give us, the, everything, Lord. We are blessed people. You've been so generous. And so now we give back to you. Bless your people in Jesus' name for the sake of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know how they're going to get to the buckets because of the people on the floor. So if you're going to give uh, with envelope, just come to the two uh, buckets on the corner. That's a good problem, huh? Thank you, Jesus. Good night, and God bless you, and God bless you as you give. We will see you next week. Isn't Jesus wonderful? All right. Bye-bye. Good night. You were created to experience the presence of God in a way that will transform your life, family, and the world. We understand how difficult it can be to find time to attend a school where you study the Word of God, grow in your faith, and build a community of believers. And that's why we created Jesus School Online. We believe that the Holy Spirit is unlimited in His reach. No matter where you live or what stage of life you're in, we invite you to take part in this amazing online opportunity. You'll be led by world-renowned speakers and worship leaders. You will be taught to seek Jesus daily, be activated in the power of the Holy Spirit, learn to share the gospel, and build community with Jesus people from around the world. At Jesus School Online, we are passionate about seeing a Jesus people raised up to shake the nations for the glory of God. You were created for this moment in history. The Jesus people are emerging and we have one ambition. Jesus himself. 
Will you join us? God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus shed his blood. He died on the cross. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day to give you life and to prove that he is the son of God who he said he was. Today he is seated at the right hand of the Father. And for those who belong to him, he is interceding for them eternally. And that same Jesus will return again. He will crack the eastern sky like a whip. And with ten thousands upon ten thousands, he will return in glory. In 2017, we received a word from Lou Engel that we really believe is the word of the Lord for our school, our house, and the entire ministry. Lou said that the greatest musicians in the world, and the greatest vocalists in the world, the greatest worshipers, that they would descend upon Orlando, Florida to Jesus' image. And that word began to burn in us, and we began to dream about what it would look like to one day have a school where people would come to worship Jesus and be in his presence and receive his word and a church was birthed in that same worshiping atmosphere. And what a beautiful opportunity that we have as a Jesus people to come before him and to be at his feet and to pour ourselves out before him. Worship has the potential to unlock things that really nothing else in the world can unlock. And so we decided about a year ago to launch a, an opportunity within the Jesus School setting for those worshipers, for the musicians, for the singers, for the dancers, for the artists, for the poets. And this is going to be a place where you can come and you can learn and you can grow. And we have highly trained instructors who are going to be coming they're going to be teaching instruments, they're going to be teaching vocals. Anything that you can think of with worship, it's going to be there. The worship is not about us. We worship for Him. So we want to invite you to come. Come worship the King of Kings with us. So come and be a part of what the Lord is doing. Come and give your heart to the Lord. Come and surrender yourself to the Lord. And let's be ones that are willing to rise and go. And we decided to name it after Bethany, that wonderful house where Jesus was ministered to, that place where the feelings of Jesus were preeminent. It was a place where he desired to not only move and work and teach and do wonderful things, but a place where he would be adored, a place where he would rest, a place where he would run to so that he would receive ministry. And so now Jesus School, has this space that's been created for all of you who are desiring to use your vocal gifts, your instrumental gifts, your gifts of worship, your dancing gifts, and give them to Jesus. If Jesus would make this a Bethany, that he'd make our lives a Bethany, where he'd come and rest and recline among us.